Just hear me out. I don't want to harm you. Well, you have. You have harmed me. I know that. And I regret it. Oh, Stay where you are. I'm setting those monkeys free, and if you try to interfere or call your boss... I'm not going to call any of them. The truth is, I'm glad to see you again. It, it gets pretty lonely for me around here, and I know that you must get lonely, too. You don't know the first thing about me. But I do. I know the real reason you came back here. It's why everyone comes to see the wizard. So I'll grab their heart's desire. I don't want anything from you. I'm sure you do. You want to stop fighting? Stop running, Alpha? You have been so strong through all of this. Aren't you tired of being the strong one? Wouldn't you like someone to take care of you? Please. Can't we start again? Don't you think I wish I could? I'd give anything to turn back the clocks, go back to that time when I actually believed that you were wonderful. Wonderful Wizard of Oz. No one believed in you more than I did. No, Try to understand. I never had a family of my own. I was always traveling. So I guess I just wanted to give the citizens of Oz everything. So you lied to them? Only verbally. <laughs> they realized they wanted to hear. I never asked for this. Or planned this in advance. I was merely blown here by the winds of chance. I never saw myself as a Solomon or Socrates. I knew who I was. When if you were dime a dozen mediocrities. Then suddenly I'm here, respected, worshipped even, just because the folks in Oz needed someone to believe in. Does it surprise you I got hooked? And all too soon. What did I say? I got carried away, and not just by balloon. Monkeys 
he's free. 